Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our lecture today is the control of plasma volume. The objective of the lecture, uh, the fluid compartment and their electrolyte composition, how kidney handle sodium ion, and uh, in the extracellular fluid and the proximal convoluted tubule, glomerular tubular balance, uh, sodium ion reabsorption, sodium ion uptake, how hormone and sympathetic nerve regulate sodium and potassium and the chloride reabsorption. How renin and geotensin system regulate sodium ion uptake and respond to change in the blood pressure. What is sympathetic control of ADH, antidiuretic hormone secretion, where a rule of the baroreceptor. Water in the body is located either intracellular or extracellular, يعني composed of interstitial fluid and plasma. The composition of extracellular fluid affects the intracellular fluid. The kidney control the composition of extracellular allowed for intracellular composition to be altered. This show, this slide show that uh, 65% of water, 67% of sodium, 100% glucose, 100% amino acid, both reabsorb when from proximal convoluted tubule. The loop 25% sodium, 15% water. The distal will collecting 20% water, 8% sodium, 10% CO3. The function of kidney handling of sodium ion is one of the most important. Why? Because sodium is a major cation of the extracellular fluid. The sodium amount determines extracellular fluid, and this in turn determines the volume of the plasma. A blood volume and hence blood pressure in renal process involved in sodium ion reabsorption is critically important for maintenance of normal extracellular fluid volume and so in blood pressure. On daily basis, the kidney must balance the amount of sodium ion excretion so that it much the amount of sodium ion ingestion. High in matching process, the machine of sodium ion balance. The kidney must balance the sodium excretion. لذلك أيضا balance the sodium ingestion. The sodium excretion greater than ingestion, the patient is in negative balance. Excess sodium ion are lost from the body. The sodium ion content of the extracellular fluid decreases and water remains in the nephron. The extracellular fluid volume either decreases as does the blood volume and arterial pressure. Remember, we are taking about the total amount of sodium ion, not the concentration of the sodium. We could have a low or high concentration of the sodium depending on the volume of water without affecting the overall sodium ion amount. Because sodium is the major ion in the extracellular fluid, it does not mean that changes in sodium ion balance affect extracellular volume osmolarity. This is not in the case, if the concentration of sodium ion in the extracellular fluid increase, the volume increase, but volume increase. This volume expansion result in increased vascular volume with the in cardiac output. A number of these uh, sensors are located in the vascular system. They are commonly called the volume baroreceptor. Low pressure baroreceptor in the arteria and pulmonary vasculature sends signal to the brain stem via the vagus nerve. How the sympathetic nerve outflow and secretion of hormone, antidiuretic hormone, how the she filling of the pulmonary vasculature and cardiac arteria increase sympathetic nerve activity with sebib ziada the secretion ADH, hydraulic high sir water uptake. Because of the location of this low pressure sensor in the venous or high a uh, complete side of the uh, circulatory system where the majority of the blood is. 
هنا ايش راح يصير؟ راح يصير distension of this low pressure barrel receptor decrease sympathetic nerve activity 5 الى 10% with changes in the pressure is need to evoke a response. A kidney response to an increase in the volume of extracellular fluid by شنو؟ زيد ال excretion of NACL and water. وتقلل ال extracellular fluid volume was treatment by decreasing excretion of NACL and water. Thank you.